Simon Sound and I saw Dread. It is directed by Pete Travis, written by Alex Garland. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This is requested by your Patreon. If you'd like to fast track a movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash ASC Presents. On with the review. This movie starts, we're following Dredd, and he's taken up a new recruit. Her name is Anderson, and the fun thing about this recruit is that she has psychic powers, although she doesn't meet the physical aptitude test of being coming a judge. She has really helpful psychic powers, and I'm just interested in how this could help with the movie. Okay, she's introduced, and then now we have this drug, we try and figure out what's happening with all these, uh, dead bodies first of all i really like seeing this dead body being thrown over this balcony and landing on the floor of this unit it's like some sort of what type of unit is it it's it's like a resident unit there's a bunch of people who live there the future is different oh man all of these residential howls can be shut down and that's terrifying Oh man, imagine if you're one of these fellows, not not at all related to the movie. You're one of these fellows, and wow, looks like they slam, the doors are just slamming down all across these windows, across all the doors, across anything that allows light in. Shut down, it's all shut down. <laughs> and I'm like, oh geez, okay. This happens when Dredd and Anderson go into this residential facility to try to figure out what the heck happened, why is there a dead body here? And then BAM, you're, you're being locked in. Also, I really like the antagonist in this movie. Her name is Mama, a lot of people call her Mama. What's fun is she's kind of, kind of skinny. She doesn't seem like a threat, right? But everyone around of her, or everyone around her, is willing to do whatever she says. And I'm curious why. Why is everyone cur uh, why does everyone want to do what she says? Well, the movie demonstrates it. She's pretty terrifying. I'm scared of her. I hope I don't get on her bad side. She has total control over all of the bad guys in in this facility. It's total criminal control, which is amazing. Also, I like how she sends all of those criminal guys after Dredd and Anderson. No one is allowed to leave this block until they're caught. And that, that's a lot of people that's stuck in a block, okay? And I do like immediately some bad dudes are like, oh, it's our time to shine. We got some guns. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. And I'm like, oh boy, I guess there would be some terrible, terrible people here. Oh my goodness. Terrible people exist. Of course, we got one of the guys! We got one of the guys and we're gonna arrest him! That's why the block is shut down, actually. So they have, the judges have this guy named Kay, part of this organization that Mama has all this control in, and I like it. I love just seeing Kay have to deal with being near the dreads and the, and the dreads, uh, well, dread is just one, being near the judges Dredd and Anderson having to deal with being near them at all, they hate each other pretty much. I think that each other thinks the other person's the scum of the earth. I base this theory based on how they treat each other and how they speak of each other. It's all a race to see who can get to Ma, and I like it. There's a lot of people who goes after them, and there's a lot of shooting in this movie. And I like the gunfights, they're pretty tense. I'm curious as to who will win. I always assume that Dread is going to win, but there's always a little bit of a hiccup that happens. Maybe uh, Dredd can't get to Anderson, or Dredd's in a tricky situation, and Anderson's required to understand uh, what's happening by going into people's minds. Oh my goodness, terrible things. I can see them. I can see the terrible things in her head. Oh my goodness, she's a terrible person. Oh no! Right? This movie... It's very fun. I like the pacing of it. I think it's very well paced. I like the futuristic look of everything. I like the armor that they wear. I like the dynamic between uh, Dredd and Anderson that is building up. They seem to be developing some sort of 
it's not a friendship per se, but it's a familiarity. They're learning each other's strengths and weaknesses within the field, but Anderson proves to be very powerful whenever she needs to be. I do like how eventually they get to Ma, and they get into the apartment, and then Ma be like, oh, by the way, this is gonna blow up. If, if, if you die me, everything's gonna blow up. You know what the solution is? Take her as far underground from po as possible, away from the signal from the top of the tower to blow everything up and then murder her there. I love the evaluation at the very end of the movie where we have Dread is saying that Anderson passed. She passed. Oh my goodness, she passed. This was an entire evaluation to see if she could become a, dread, uh, a judge by Dread, and she passed. And that made me happy. And that's the end of the movie. You know, this is a very fun movie. I mentioned earlier that I like the pacing. That's because I like the pacing. The pacing is very easy to follow. I feel like I'm step by step with them along the entire way. I feel like I'm on a journey with them. And because I feel like I'm on a journey with them, I feel like I can get to know them more, each character more. Each of them have like a little bit individual things about them. Like, Judge Dredd is really, really by the book, right? So by the book that someone tries to kill him and he has to kill them because that's against the rules. It's against the rules, yo. That's against the rules. And so I, I like how he has to follow the rules. Anderson has to go the other side of ways to get more information, like going into people's brains. Like, there's, there's different ways that each person deals with a situation, and I really like that. I like this movie so much, what else can I say about it? Like, I just, I think I just mentioned everything that I liked about it. I liked the colors, the colors were nice. And I felt a little bit scared, there's a bug! I don't think I should be out here any longer. So, I'm gonna give this movie a solid 7 out of 10! Ugh, there's a mosquito there. 7 out of 10, get out of here! Just because it's warm enough doesn't mean you should be near here. Mosquitoes. Arr! Anyways, 7 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want to fast track a movie review, you can do that for $20 editos at patreon.com slash ASC presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree, find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So I can go here and until next time in Salad Saw. I'll see you later tomorrow, Salad Cretons, Big Bits. Boodoo 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 boodo